everyone, and welcome to another math tutorial. This video is the first in a series of videos where I'm going to explain the chain rule for derivatives in calculus. So what exactly is chain rule, you might ask? Quite simply, chain rule is the way that we differentiate compositions of functions. Um, composition meaning when we have kind of a function built from two simple functions, right? A function within another function. That's an illustration or, or a time when you're gonna use chain rule. Uh, quite frankly, it, it's, it's very commonly used when taking derivatives in calculus. You're gonna use it so often, it's just gonna become natural in the way you do derivatives. Uh, but let's use this example here to kind of illustrate um, when chain rule is necessary. Uh, now, so far, you should have studied all of your basic uh, derivative rules, which would include your basic trig derivatives. And if you're watching this video, I assume that everybody knows what the derivative of sine is. Um, so if we had an equation y equals sine x, and we want to find the derivative of that equation, uh, we all probably know the derivative of sine x is simply cosine x. Piece of cake, that's done. Well, the question becomes over on this second example is what happens when the x, which is inside of the sine x, what happens when we replace that x with something more complicated, okay? It's not simply x anymore, but in this example, I wrote it to be 5x squared. Now, so here we have a case where we have this 5x squared function that is inside of the sine function, and that illustrates a composition. And so the question is, how do we differentiate a function like this? The answer is that you need to use chain rule, okay? So we're not actually gonna do this problem right now. We're gonna talk about chain rule and the rule, the formula, and then in the next set of videos, we'll get into all sorts of problems that look like this. Okay, so the formula for chain rule, right? How are we gonna take the derivative when we see this composition? So here it is. We've got this, this um, this notation that, that you should be familiar with, uh, f of g of x, and we want to find the derivative of f of g of x. Now notice here uh, that there is what I would term an outer function and an inner function, okay, or an outside, inside. In other words, uh, the, the g of x function is inside of the f of x function, okay? So the way we do chain rule is that you're always going to take the derivative of the outer function first, okay? And when we take the derivative of the outer function, notice that we've got the f that's been uh, prime here, the inner function has stayed the same. We, we haven't changed g of x. g of x is still just g of x. There's no derivative right here. Well, after we take the derivative of the outer function, the second step is now we're gonna take the derivative of the inner function. Okay, and we're gonna then just simply multiply those two derivatives together. So you have to think of chain rule as um, maybe like peeling back the layers, right? You, you wanna start with the outside layer first, and after you take the derivative of that outside layer, then you're gonna to work to the inside layer second. So that's just a quick explanation of what chain rule is. So that's it for the first one, this little introductory video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, uh, join me in the next video where we'll look at some problems together.